whole numbers time divided by 10. Hello guys, today we are going to talk about the way to find the results of numbers multiplication or division by 10. Lumos looked back at the history of his home planet, Darakatasiva. I was told that thousand years ago there was only one-tenth of the population in my hometown today. Uh, how many people are living in the city you came from now? asked Timmy. I heard it's around 125,000. Lumos searched for the number in his memory. Timmy decided to help Lumos find the number of people that lived in his hometown a thousand years ago. Let's help him calculate the number together. We have already learned about the place values before. Now let's assign the digits of the number into places. Starting from the number on the right side, we can assign zeros to ones, tens, and hundreds place. Then we can find the numbers five, two, and one are on thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands places. By assigning the digits into their own places, we can then do multiplication or division. What we want to find is one-tenth of 125,000, which has the same meaning of 125,000 divided by 10. We can find the answer by moving each digit to the right by one unit, since there is only one zero in 10 as our divisor. Like we are showing here, we are moving one from hundred thousands place to ten thousands, two from ten thousands place to thousands place, etc. What are we doing to the numbers fall out of the table with no place value related to them? asked Lumos. Though I feel sorry, we have to abandon them since they are meaningless now, answered Timmy pitifully. Now after dismissing the trailing numbers falling out of the place value table, we can find the number after transformation is 12,500. So, there were only 12,500 people that lived in Lumos's hometown a thousand years before. The population grew so significantly in the past thousand years. Lumos was surprised. Is there anything decreased to such an extent in past centuries? Uh, more and more animals on the earth are getting closer to the status of endangered these years, says Timmy. Such as blue whale. It was counted that there exists around 12,000 blue whales worldwide now. Before humans started trying to fish for them. It is said that there were more than 10 times of the blue whales on Earth today. Lumos, do you know the number of blue whales at that time? Let's calculate together, just like we did to find the population of Lumos's hometown before. We first assign the digits to the place value table. Here we can see 1 is assigned to the 10,000s place, and 2 is assigned to the 1,000s place. With the zeros, fill in to hundreds, tens, and ones places. What we need to do is multiply 12,000 by 10. We can find the result by moving each digit to the left by one unit, as the opposite direction we have done in division by 10. You can see the place ones will be then left with void. We then need to fill ones with an extra zero. The final number after transformation is 120,000. So, we can tell that there were more than 120,000 blue whales on the Earth before humans started fishing them. Wow, does this mean many whales have disappeared due to human activity? Lumos was shocked. That's why we need to regulate the fishing activities these days, Timmy nodded seriously. That's all for the methods of finding numbers, multiplication, or division by 10. Guys, you think you've got it?